If you're building a WordPress website with Elementor and you want to create your own custom Elementor headers and footers, you might be a bit stuck because Elementor doesn't let you do that natively. Sure, you can do that if you have Elementor Pro, but this is still a paid option. What if you wanted to do this for free? Surely there's an option to do that, right? You bet there is. In this video, I'll show you a plugin that will help you create beautiful and custom Elementor headers and footers for absolutely free. Before we get started with the tutorial, hi, I'm Yaz from the Brainstorm Force team, creators of the most popular WordPress theme in the world, Astra. And on our channel, we create WordPress tutorials for beginners and non-coders. So if you want to improve your WordPress skills, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on your notifications. And if you're ready, let's get started with the video. All right, here we are on my computer. And before we get started, I just want to quickly show you the website we're going to be working on in this video. As you can see, this is my e-commerce space WordPress website. And all I've done is install the Astra theme along with one of the amazing starter templates. If you don't know what starter templates is, it's a huge library of pre-built, professionally designed and beautiful looking website templates that you can install in just a few clicks. And everything you see here, including the design, the menus, the font styles, have all been imported with starter templates. And it gives us a nice platform to start building our website from. And as you can see here, we have this beautiful template design right here, as well as a footer design here as well. But sometimes when you get a header or footer from a template, you might want to customize it and really make it your own. But as I mentioned in the intro, unless you have Elementor Pro, you don't have any native functionality to customize the header on your Elementor based WordPress website. So let's go ahead and install the plugin that will help us do so. So first, let's go into our WordPress dashboard at the top here. We're going to go all the way down here to plugins and go ahead and press add new. On the search menu on the right, let's go ahead and search for Elementor Header and Footer Builder. And the plugin we want is right here. And as you can see, it's a Brainstorm Force product. Let's go ahead and press Install Now and activate the plugin as well. And as you can see, the plugin has now been activated and we can see it right here in our plugins menu. Let's go ahead and configure the settings and start setting up our new header and footer. You can do that by going into Settings right here in the plugins menu, or you can go into Appearance right here and you can see Elementor header and footer builder. All right, and now over here, you can see there's no current header or footer templates made. We can go ahead and press add new at the top. And next we can add a name for a new header or footer template. Let's just call it header test. Just like that. And next we can go ahead and press edit with Elementor to begin creating our new header. All right, here we are within Elementor and this is where we're gonna be building our new header. And if I scroll down on the left-hand side, if I scroll all the way down, you can see that we have some new widgets that came installed with our Elementor header and footer builder. We have widgets like adding a navigation menu, page or site titles, site logo, search, or even a cart button. These are elements you'd need for a great modern header design, and you have them all included with this plugin. All right, I'm sure you're all familiar with using Elementor to build your website, so let me snap my fingers and fast forward into the future where I have my header design created. And here we go, here is our new header design all created using Elementor along with our new widgets from the Elementor header and footer builder plugin. And I'm really happy with how it looks. We can probably customize it and make it better looking, but for now, for this video, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and press update on the bottom left right here. Now we can go back onto our WordPress dashboard. And again, now within Elementor header and footer builder settings, we have that header test that we just created. Let's go and press edit right here. And just below this edit with Elementor button, you can see this option right here, type of template. So, so if I drop this down, you can see we can choose where we want this header design to be displayed. So we have four different options. We have header, before footer, footer, and also custom block. The one we just created is obviously a header and we want it to be displayed as a header on different parts of our website or the whole website. So let's go and press header and more options drop down as well. We can choose where it's displayed on and also what users can see this particular header. Let's start with where it's displayed. So if I drop down this menu here, you can see you have a whole different range of options to choose from where this header will be displayed. You have basic settings where you can choose the entire website, all singulars, all archives. You can choose special pages, posts, landing pages, product pages, and so much more. You can really customize exactly where you want your header designs to be displayed. This can be really useful because if you want to create custom header designs for different types of pages or posts, you can do that with this. So I'm going to select entire website. If you want to add any other rules on top of that, you can add that right here and use the same drop down menu to do so. In a similar way, you can also add exclusion rules to exclude certain pages from displaying that header. Just like that, you can choose whatever page you want it to show up on. And lastly, you also have user roles. So you can select exactly who can view this header design you created. So you can choose all, everyone, they have to be logged in, logged out, or certain roles as well down here. I'm just going to leave it as all. And I'm going to go up here and press update to save all the changes. And now if I go back onto my WordPress website's front end, 
you can see we have that new header we created just now. We have the search bar here. We have our cart right here and clicking on it takes us to our cart page. Our cart is currently empty. We have our logo there as well. And we have our menu right here with all the different options as well. And there you have it. We've created a brand new header and I think it looks pretty good. Maybe a designer could do a better job than I can, but there you go. You can customize it to look exactly how you want. And if you want to, you can also do the same thing for your footer as well. As you can see here, this is the default one. You have your before footer, this area here, and your footer here as well. Next, I'm gonna to count to three, and I'm gonna replace this with the new footer and before footer that I've created, just to show you what we can do with Elementor header and footer builder. Let's go, three, two, one. And here they are. Here's a new footer and before footer just to show you what we can do with Elementor header and footer builder. It might not be the best looking footer or before footer. But I just wanted to show you what we can do with the capabilities of this plugin. As you can see here, I've added a logo once again, the site tagline, some social media icons, and we've got two different menus right here for him and for her because once again, it's an e-commerce website. And I've also added a footer down here where you can add your privacy policy, some icons, or even some menu items just like this. We have home, about, contact us just the essential ones that you might need and again this is just to show you the capabilities of the plugin and since we're using Elementor just remember that you can also add any other widget you want from Elementor onto your header and footer all you have to do is just drag it onto your header footer when you're creating your new header <laughs> I'm saying header or footer a lot all you have to do is just drag that widget onto your header or footer when you're designing it like we did before that's all there is to it I'm sure a designer could probably do it a little bit better than I have here but again I think it shows you what you can do with this plugin here's our header right here and here's a footers down here as well. And there you have it. These are the capabilities you have when using Elementor header and footer builder. If you have any questions or got stuck anywhere through this tutorial, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. And that's it for this tutorial. We hope you're able to create your dream Elementor header and footer designs with this plugin. If you got value from the video, make sure you leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here. And you can check out even more of our tutorials by clicking on this playlist here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.